Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. I'm Taylor. You checking out what, my dear? Uh, best insults with that glory holes joke. Eight out of ten cats does count down. All right, you guys asked for this one a lot. I like. I, I'm really digging the show. So I'm super <laughs> happy, super excited to get into this. So let's get into it. I already got glory hole in the title, so you guys are gonna be good. <laughs> that was gonna be good. Rachel has a master's degree in maths from Oxford University. Frankly, using her for the maths on countdown is like using the Large Hadron Collider as a water slide. <laughs> Russell's t shirts are so tight, he looks like a toddler that was granted a magic wish to be big. <laughs> <laughs> Tom says he used to dress in Victorian clothing as a teenager to disguise the fact he was gay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tom, that'll throw him off the scent. <laughs> he owns a number of exotic pets, including an iguana. Brightly coloured, with soft, leathery skin and a bulging neck, Jonathan is one of the most distinctive faces on television. <laughs> yeah. Well, very funny, Jimmy, but the iguana's dead, and you raised Dave as a joke. You are a terrible person. <laughs> I, I went for iguana, you went with... Dave. What, how do you pronounce iguana? Well, it, it had its iguana. Okay. You did say iguana. The first. I, you can... <laughs> I preferred iguana. I thought, I I thought was... you were getting it right. I, I thought you were He's know. dead. Does it matter? <laughs> uh, Sarah is from the northeast, and fun fact: human beings share 99.9% .9 of our DNA with Geordies. <laughs> and so, technically, a sand dancer, so South Shields. But a also... sand dancer. Yeah, but it sounds rubbish, doesn't it? My hometown is Southport, and they are the sand grounders. Just, uh, oh, not, really? Not all comedy, some of it's information. <laughs> <laughs> My hometown is Lancaster and we call ourselves Lancastrians because we don't like to take the piss. <laughs> James, where are you from and what do they call you lot? I'm from Kettering and they call us legends. <laughs> <laughs> and to obnunciate is to announce bad news. As used in the sentence, the shopkeeper obnunciated, I'm sorry Rachel, but we only have that particular dress in a child size. <laughs> <laughs> Saves on VAT, you'd know all about that, Jimmy. Saves on VAT. <laughs> Stephen provided the voice for the Postman Pat movie. I saw it and was shocked. It involved more licking, stamping and stuffing big packages into tiny slots than any film since Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> That's also the childhood, a child's icon you've just besmirched with your filth. <laughs> you were the voice of Postman Pat? Yeah. Did you create a backstory for him or anything? Yeah, because he was in a TV series before the film. <laughs> Stephen, yeah. who did you take you over from? Who was the voice in the telly show? Well, a very unhappy man. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> Just wondering how he feels about it all. Well, I, I thought there was a bond, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You move yeah. on, there's yeah. different bonds, oh. no one gets upset. There's wow. different paths. There's different paths. <laughs> how do you remember his name? Because I like the Mighty Boosh and he was on that. Uh, I love Noel Fielding. He's my okay. fave. I was like, how the heck do you know his name? I thought it was a chick for a second. I could tell you so now today. <laughs> I'll I'll same, same. Idris Elba's going to be the next post from Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Before finding fame on The Daily Show in America, Michelle worked on Wall Street. So her surname is Wolf, and she used to work on Wall Street. She's just like that film. Annie. <laughs> 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 in 2016, John became a father. Must have been amazing holding that child for the first time and thinking, wow, just nine months ago I was sitting at home waiting for my wife to get back from her yoga retreat. <laughs> <laughs> what a weekend. <laughs> Where would we be without Rachel Riley? Well, we could probably just move the letters board closer to Susie. It's not like she's rushed <laughs> off her feet. <laughs> Rachel appeared on a celebrity version of Child Genius where she was beaten by a 12-year-old in a maths challenge. And there's me thinking dancing on Strictly would have been the most embarrassing thing in your career. <laughs> Johnny Vegas has show business running through his veins as well as dangerously high levels of saturated fat. <laughs> You've all come back to butter. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I was mocked during the margarine years. <laughs> Your love of butter. I mean, you said you've outlived Prince and David Bowie. Who, who would have thought it? Only <laughs> well, because I'm younger. <laughs> you are? <laughs> well, we should probably go on with the show because, judging by Rachel's dress, she clearly has a hen do to get to. I had quite a few hen do's this year, actually. Did you? One of them, I dressed up my friend as a tortoise with a penis. 
That's mad. Yes, there was a stop. I'm really proud of that. A tortoise with a penis. Yeah. She loves tortoises, so we all went... And out. penises. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we were in Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> No, your mum's going, yeah, no, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my mum's like, that was a good night, actually, yeah. <laughs> she really came out of her shell. <laughs> John recently became a father. John's got OCD, so the conception took a while, as as soon as he turned his wife on, he had to go back and make sure he turned her off again. <laughs> Rachel Wiley has a degree from Oxford, and her tutors have a degree of sadness when they think about her chosen career path. <laughs> Joe lives in Brighton. He fits right in, because if there's one thing the residents of Brighton love, it's a hairy bum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michelle, do you know who any of us are? No. I thought, uh, when I saw you, I thought maybe Benedict Cumberbatch had gotten in a terrible accident. <laughs> <laughs> The really hurtful thing about that is I sort of take that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> you want gingerbread, man? Oh, it's a gingerbread me. Yeah, gingerbread you. I've got a gingerbread Susie. You can eat that if you want. I mean, you're more than wow. welcome. I've got... Ro oh, Rochine's quite pretty. Look. Look at that. Yes. Oh, it's edible. Robert? Yeah, of course it's edible. Uh, hang on. We always you have know? to ask. <laughs> 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 oh, one for John. Sean and Dom. What is every girl's dream if what that girl is dreaming of is a 40-something goth crow? <laughs> well, you're pretty rock and roll, and Countdown isn't. How would you make this show kind of more, more kind of cool? Mm, don't know. You could, the desks could be on fire or something. <laughs> <laughs> Different host. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have the Riddler from Batman on it every week. <laughs> it's, it's not... It's not... It's not, it's not, it's not what, sorry? I've already tried to bite into it and I really gave it a good go and she wouldn't give. <laughs> <laughs> baby porcupine is called a porcupet. Porcupet is also a chat-up line in Newcastle. The <laughs> 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 inedible gingerbread man, how's that going? <laughs> I talked her around. <laughs> <laughs> She's left of that gingerbread man. She's <laughs> literally legless. <laughs> Where would James be without comedy? Well, I imagine hanging out at a games workshop wondering what it's like to touch a girl's boob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still doing half of those things. I'm not saying Chris Addison has weirdly long limbs, but I'm not sure whether to laugh at him or trap him under a glass and put him outside. <laughs> Durkle is an old Scottish term meaning to lounge in bed all day. Hey, Scottish people, you can't lie in bed all day unless, of course, you've given the Domino's delivery guy his own key. <laughs> Rachel, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, in 10 years, hopefully, I'll have been working in telly for 18 years, so I'll probably be testifying against someone I've worked with. <laughs> 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 the Brett Domino trio have an incredibly dedicated following, by which I mean they're being monitored very closely by the police. <laughs> <laughs> Should we respond or...? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, what was your phone? Face. Phone. What, sorry? <laughs> phone! <laughs> <laughs> Tolkien typed the 1,200-page manuscript of Lord of the Rings using only two fingers. I bet that was bloody Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, you often tweet about celebrities. If you could go on holiday with any celebrity, who would it be? Oh, my gosh. I'd probably go on holiday with you. <laughs> Excellent choice. What, what, why me? I mean, I think you're super fun, and I know you live a lavish lifestyle, and, like, I think you need a best friend. And we out. <laughs> oh. You know I'm a real boy. <laughs> Lee excelled at school. Sorry, Lee was expelled at school. <laughs> Hypothermia is a state in which the core temperature of the body falls below 35 degrees. People who die from it include mountaineers and during a cold snap, viewers of regular countdown. <laughs> David has that just-got-out-of-bed look if the bed was some flattened cardboard boxes in the doorway of a Curry's Digital. <laughs> you look like Dracula's less successful younger brother. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. <laughs>
right, we'll start with um, a consonant, please. Thank you, Lee. Rachel. M. Uh, vowel. V. Upside down. <laughs> <laughs> it's your only job, Rachel. <laughs> Susie has written 14 books all about the derivations of words and phrases. Susie, where do you get your lack of ideas from? <laughs> she gave his most recent book, he named a squirrel after Susie Dent. Small, wild and with an insatiable appetite for nuts, Susie was delighted. <laughs> the Oxford English Dictionary grows by over 4,000 words a year. No wonder Susie Dent's worn out, well, that and the dogging. Susie doesn't really enjoy being famous and goes to great lengths to avoid being recognised. For example, when she's in her car, she wears sunglasses and a hat, so the other doggers don't know it's her. <laughs> <laughs> Susie Dent knows the derivations of even the rudest words and phrases, so where does cock gobbler come from? Well, she was born in Woking, but now she lives in Oxford. <laughs> uh, my baby, that's my baby, huh? It's always banging that door, aren't you? <laughs> Are you talking to Susie or me now? <laughs> He's never banging on my door, I have to say. Thank goodness. Um... Susie has written 14 books about the derivations of words, and you can find them all in your local library. Just ask for the Sleepy Go Bye Bye section. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Susie, what have you been looking into recently? Other than glory holes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Now, what have you been looking into recently? <laughs> <laughs> all the effect of my having brought me. <laughs> no, I've been looking into the, uh, the language of doctors, which is quite interesting. Okay. But things like um, brothel sprouts. Was, brothel sprouts. Yeah, you know, doctors have these ridiculous names to try and the black humour, sick humour, to yeah. try and, you know, keep the horrible stuff at bay. So brothel sprouts, uh, basically genital, genital warts. Sorry, I'm sorry <laughs> to make <me>. that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, that's it, really, I can't, I'm just thinking glory <laughs> holders. <laughs> Fish once went to see the film Shame with his dad, but said the graphic sex made it very awkward. Everyone in the cinema asked them to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dad! <laughs> it's a shame I knew what the dogger thing was. It's like, a, um, if it's is. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. It's when, um, like, one chick essentially, like, does what, like, you meet up at a random location, and then you do it with, like, a bunch of guys or something like that. I think that's, if I oh, think that's okay. real. I believe that's what it, what it is. I remember hearing that term before. Mm -hmm. um, this wasn't as funny as the other ones until it got to the glory hole joke. Then it was fantastic. So, I, I feel like all the build-up was to get to the glory hole joke. That's why they say that for the... Last, I guess. Yeah, the first well, couple of minutes weren't as funny, but then it got funnier. It got funny as it grows. Yeah. It's slow. It's a slow. It's slow burn. Slow burn, like slow little build up for um, for the um, comedy. So, yeah, I enjoyed the other ones a lot more though. Yeah. Uh, maybe because maybe it was the guest. I mean, this he the is some of the some of the same guests, but or yeah. well, maybe this one was clipped a little different. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it's a clip of insults right there. Jimmy, yeah. I didn't read that. I didn't read that. I wasn't paying attention. Sometimes when you read the title, I still don't pay attention. I just, rude. I just click the <laughs> link that somebody gives, or yeah. I copy and paste what they say. Um, I just read the most important. I skim like I, I know it says best insults, blah 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 blah. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I pay attention to that. The main part I pay attention was glory hole joke. Oh uh, yeah, buddy. He's such a dork. Eight out of ten cats glory hole joke. That's gonna be funny. Every time we watch one of these two and what the what the guy is on it, and you're like, how do you know who he is? I've said like five times that I've watched his show. Oh. <laughs> I've, I've never watched it with you, though. I, I've funny. never seen you watch you it. You guys like Mighty Boosh, Goth Juice. It's a good show. Mm -hmm. it's funny. I bet you love it. <laughs> bet you love it, you dork. So, it's probably good. I just haven't it given it a funny. shot yet. Uh, 
All right. We have definitely got to watch some more. I enjoyed. The, I still enjoyed the first two we did. I laughed a lot more. Yeah. Than those. And doesn't it knock this Especially one at all? Especially the one with the kittens on it. Oh, that one's funny. He's trying to shuffle them back into <laughs> yeah. the box like He's that. Like, oh, no, 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 no. That was good. <laughs> oh, man. You got anything else, sweets? No. All right, folks. That is all for this one. Please stay happy, safe, and healthy. Um, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I haven't said that in any of the videos in a long time, but just in case you guys forgot. All right. That's all for this one. Later. <laughs>